Welcome to CBS This Morning. The head of the CIA insists a new report on its interrogation methods after 9-11 does not tell the whole story. Senate Intelligence Committee Democrats claim the agency brutalized terrorist suspects, misled Congress and the White House. The report spells out the so-called enhanced interrogation techniques, including keeping detainees awake for up to 180 hours in stress positions, waterboarding, sensory deprivation, cramped confinement, and vertical shackling. The report says additional rough treatment resulted in permanent injuries and likely one death from hypothermia. That detainee was, quote, held partially nude and chained to a concrete floor. President Obama is praising the report's release. We took some steps that were contrary to who we are, contrary to our values. Uh, you know, some of the uh, tactics uh, that were uh, written about in the Senate Intelligence Report uh, were brutal. And uh, as I've said before, uh, it constituted torture in my mind. And that's not who we are. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill with more of the fallout. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. And this report is just as harsh as everyone expected. It says the CIA hid the truth about these tactics for years and that it exaggerated the amount of intelligence that was produced in those brutal sessions. The report says the worst abuses took place in secret detention sites, like one where detainees were kept in total darkness and given buckets for human waste. Intelligence Committee Chairman Dianne Feinstein says those facilities were mismanaged. The CIA deployed officers who had histories of personal, ethical, and professional problems of a serious nature. The report says at least 39 prisoners were subjected to enhanced interrogation between 2002 and 2009, and that the program was not effective because some detainees produced no intelligence, while others provided significant accurate intelligence prior to or without these techniques. Republicans on the Intelligence Committee say they looked at the same evidence and concluded the tactics did help the CIA track down Osama bin Laden, foil a plot at Heathrow Airport, and identify Khalid Sheikh Mohammed as the mastermind of 9-11. Georgia's Saxby Chambliss is the committee's top Republican. That's an awful lot of actionable intelligence collected under the CIA program that this study tries to quietly sweep under the carpet. Arizona Republican John McCain, who was tortured for years as a POW in Vietnam, saw things differently. I know from personal experience that the abuse of prisoners will produce more bad than good intelligence. The report says the CIA kept Washington in the dark, sometimes on orders from the Bush White House. One CIA email from 2003 said the White House is extremely concerned Secretary of State Colin Powell would blow his stack if he were to be briefed on what's been going on. Even President Bush wasn't fully briefed until 2006, four years after the start of the program. There are probably a lot of Americans who say, you know what, these guys were responsible for killing thousands of Americans. I really don't care if they were waterboarded or sleep deprived. Yes, there's some of that. And it's quite possible to feel that way. Um, but, you know, we're a country that doesn't do this. Her report says a lot of the dirty work was actually performed by a pair of contractors, psychologists who essentially came up with these tactics, did a lot of the interrogations, and were paid by the CIA $81 million. Gail. Nancy, thank you.